This is gonna be a quick video. It's a stick buying tip. I have two tips for you in buying your sticks. If you're a beginner and buying your sticks for the first time, or perhaps you've already just started learning, you bought your first pair of sticks and you got them home and you, you go, eh, it's not quite right or whatever. So uh, here's some of my sticks. I have different brands represented here. I got Zildjian sticks. I got these red, the hot rods and the cool rods. The rods are uh, pro marks. I got a couple Vic Firth sticks, and these are five Bs. Five Bs are a little heavier, all the rest are five As. So five Bs are a little bit heavier, a little bit longer of a stick. If you're comparing the five As and the five Bs, see a little bit longer, and it is a little bit thicker and heavier, which I like to kind of warm up uh, sometimes. And it's like a baseball player swinging a weighted bat before he goes to swing. Uh, up at the regular plate because it makes the regular bat feel quicker and faster and etc. So, um, and these are Regal Tips, Regal Tip brand. My favorite sticks. I can't find these anymore in the stores. The company probably still exists. I I don't know where to find them. If anybody knows, let me know. My favorite sticks growing up. These are the last two I have left, unfortunately. Uh, so. Uh, they just stayed with me as I moved in the, along the way for all those years. I'll get to them in a second. These, I'm not going to name the brand of these sticks. These were a freebies a bonus when I bought something online. I brought a little pad to test it, whatever, and a little stand. And these three sticks came as a bonus for free, which leads to my first tip. Do not buy sticks online. No matter what, just don't, just don't, because you don't know what you're gonna get. These are very cheap, I can't use these. I can't teach, with, even on a pad, I can't teach with them because they get two different sounds from the sticks. And the wood is very cheap, it's, they're very light, so unusable. Um, no matter, even if they're cheap price, even if they're brands, Promarks, or Vic First, don't buy them online, go into the store, okay? When I was young, growing up, my, Favorite sticks, the five A's, Regal Tips, five A's, Nylon Tips. Used to go into the store, and they probably still have it in some stores, but today they started pairing, you know, they pair them up. So you can go in and it makes it easier and people say, oh, these two sticks go together, boom, I'll buy those. But uh, before, when I was growing up, there was bins. There was big bins and just loose sticks that you'd have to pull out you know, two of them. First thing you would do is roll them on a flat surface. I won't do it here, but you know, you used to roll them, get, go on the floor. You see everybody rolling sticks on the floor to see if they were warped. Because a lot of sticks had a warp and they would wobble, 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 as opposed to just roll evenly. So once you found two sticks that were straight and not warped, you wanted to make sure they f were the same weight. If they're not the same weight, you're gonna get two different sounds. So it was a chore to go buy sticks and find two that matched evenly. Okay, so that's the problem with these. One is heavier than the other one. Along, I had tons of these sticks and they were all loose. So unfortunately the last two I've left were unmatched or they had matched and I probably lost the other ones that were ma matched this one and another one matched this one, but you know, so. So I can't really use these. I can't teach with these on a pad. You really hear the difference of sound. I don't know if you hear it here, but One is a lower sound, one is the higher sound. You really notice it on the pad if I'm playing on a pad or teaching. So I can't teach with those, I can't. Um, so tip number two, when you go into a store now, you see them paired up, you go, it's hard enough finding a stick, the model that you want, because there's so many different models and, and the brands and everything. So finding the sticks that fit your hands or your body type is hard enough. Yet alone, like, oh, okay, it's easy now. I found the sticks I want, so this is paired, so I'll just buy these, go pay for them and go home, and ah, they're not even. This stick is heavier than this one. No, in the store, take the stick out of the sleeve, make sure you do that, you're allowed to do it, and feel it, you know, feel both hands. Switch the sticks, hands, close your eyes, feel them. Do they feel the same weight? If they do, then go find a pad or something in the store. There's drums they set up. Hit on, hit on a table, 
you know, if, if there's nothing else, but there's always a pad, you know, or something that you can hit on to hear if it sounds the same. If you're not sure, call the drum store shop owner, you know, the, the employee there and ask him, does this sound even to you? Do they feel the same way if you're unsure? All right, because all these sticks I bought in the sleeve like this, these in the Pro Marks, no. I didn't just buy these and the first one I picked out was like, oh, they're perfect. Nope, I had to go through the process. I, okay, these, uh, let's see, nope. Get the, another one of that same model. Nope, 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 nope. Mm. Okay, these feel pretty even, which I don't understand that. The company, I mean, that's their job that if they're pairing up sticks, make sure they're even to begin with. So, and it goes with all the, all the sticks. I'm not pointing out Zildjian or Vic Firth or anybody else, Promark, everyone. When I went to buy Vic Firth sticks, the same thing. I had to take them out. I had to hit, you know, I had to feel, boom, no, they, they weren't right. You know, good. Let, me, let me pull another one out and hit that. It was a process of doing it, all right? So that's it. Tip number two, when you go into the store, make sure you take them out, you feel them because you're gonna be happy that you did uh, for the sake. So there you go. Don't buy sticks online, repeating. Don't buy sticks online, boom. Can't use them. And uh, when you go in the store, don't trust that they're evenly matched up, just buying them off the rack, okay? There you go. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Please subscribe if you're so inclined. Go have some fun, go drum. I am going to, uh, put my sticks away and I don't know, I might, maybe I'll whittle these down and make toothpicks out of them or something. And I could have a year supply of toothpicks. Or when winter comes next winter, I can use them as Kindle for fire, firewood. All right, anyway, see ya.